So here we are, a week after we picked up our little ducklings uh, from Metzer Farm. And they've mo been moved out of their uh, temporary brooder box, which was just a plastic storage box. And they've moved into this giant, let's see if I can get this, cardboard box, which actually is, I got a, an appliance store here in my area. Um, and it seems to be working out perfectly, so they'll stay in here until they've feathered out, and then they'll get moved into the barn. And it doesn't take a lot to um, brood either chickens or baby ducks. Um, you can use any kind of cardboard box as long as they have enough space to move around and um, there's enough room for their, their water and there's their little feed trough and these guys are on just a regular um, chick starter and then they'll be moved over to um, a grower and finisher uh, pelleted feed when they get old enough. Um, one of the things a lot of um, books and things you read on the internet don't tell you <laughs> about raising ducks is they're actually very messy. Um, I've got about four inches at this point of shavings in the bottom of this box and under these water fonts is actually um, a tray from a rabbit hutch to collect the water but it's not actually working very well. So good thing that they're in the garage and not in the house anymore because they like to play with the water more than they drink it and so they end up splashing it everywhere which soaks the shaving. So um, every couple of days we go in, put another layer uh, which is an in two inches, three inches of shavings on top and I think if the bottom of the cardboard box completely disintegrates I'll have to go in and, and get another box and replace it all together but I'm hoping we can um, keep this set up until they're big enough and feathered out enough to go in the barn and then they can go down on straw and um, they'll have a lot more room and maybe that won't be so messy. Um, so there we have it. Um, our first batch of meat ducks. The yellow ones are Gramad Pekings, which is um, a French variety. And then the darker ones are Rouens. And they're also a French variety. Both of them are known um, for their meat quality and their taste. So we're doing a little experiment here to see which one we like the best. So I've got six of each. And we will follow their progress until they get butchered uh, the first weekend in May. So there you have the latest episode of The Duck Diaries.